Well, good morning. It is kind of a humid morning out there in spots. You can see some fog low lying on the horizon there as you look at our Syntex Roof Systems camera at the 25 News Studio. That's important because it signifies there's warmer air up above that layer of fog, which will eventually mix down later on this afternoon and lead to some extremely warm conditions for this time of year. Won't feel crazy warm compared to what we see in the, in the summer, but it'll feel really warm for February here as we get into the afternoon. 50s out there right now in Waco, Temple, and Killeen. 40s in San Saban. Most of us, though, in the mid-60s, especially along and east of I-35. We have south winds out there currently. They are shifting to the west and the southwest in our western counties, and that's important because that's where all the dry air is this morning behind this dry line along 281. Eventually, that will push that dry line off to the east, and as it nears the I-35 corridor, we're going to be talking about temperatures getting into the 90s this afternoon with that drier air working in. 66 by 9 o'clock, 82 by noon. We'll be in the low 90s coming up by the afternoon. South winds at around 15 miles per hour shifting to the southwest. Low 90s along I-35, but out to the west towards Goldthwaite, San Saba, Hamilton. You may make it to the mid to even some upper 90s possible there. Out in West Texas, they'll be looking at mid to upper 90s as well. It's east of I-35 where you'll see the more spring-like conditions with mid 80s on the way. And that'll be a humid mid 80s that will be in place. And then tonight, falling down into the 60s again. We'll get that clearer sky come in this afternoon, clearing out that fog. South winds stay on the breezy side. Overnight, the cloud cover works back in. We'll start cloudy. We'll start muggy again to start the day tomorrow. And then that dry line will wiggle west again. Again, it will likely make it into the upper 80s and lower 90s along and west of I-35 again tomorrow, though more cloud cover likely keeps us in the upper 80s along I-35. And then here come some changes as we get into the middle of the week. We start off Wednesday very similar, but a cold front will work in during the morning hours. And look at that cool air working in. We'll struggle to get out of the 50s coming up on Wednesday. May even some areas see staying in the low 50s with cloud cover building in and eventually some rain chances by Thursday. So feeling a lot different here by the middle of the week. For now, though, we get this taste of late spring, early summer in place this afternoon. 92 for your high, 88 for tomorrow, mid 60s on Wednesday. That starts in the day with temperatures falling in the 50s through the daytime. A better chance of rain there by Thursday. And then look, we're warming up just as quick again, back close to 80 for the weekend. We'll get another cold front in here next week, though it doesn't look as potent. In the Brazos Valley, you're a little cooler here the next couple of days, but still warm by February standards, low 70s by the weekend.